I have been trying to find the best chain loop for my road bike and my gravel bike. For now, I have ditched squirt wax lube, and here's why. A couple of months ago, I did a video about the squirt wax lube, this video here, and it provoked quite a few comments, particularly some from people who are rather evangelical about using wax on their chain, and we'll come on to that later. However, Squirt sent me some uh, bottles of their Squirt wax to try across winter. They also sent me some of their bike cleaner and some of their chamois cream, which they call barrier balm. So I thought I'd wrap up a few thoughts of all three into one video. When I first opened this, I thought it was chain wax. It is a really thick, gloopy product. After you put it on your backside, there's loads still on your hands. It is really hard to wash off, but, and that's a but with one T, it does work. I've used it in wet conditions where the shorts pad could slide around and rub and it protected me. For wetsuit swimming, it also prevented chafing around my neck and it didn't come off. So it feels slightly unpleasant on your hand, but it works. And if I now touch my camera with this, I'm gonna ruin the lens, so give me a moment. The concentrated bike cleaner really is rather good. It's a biodegradable degreaser, which is important. And it pretty much does what it says on the tin. Diluted one to 25, so it goes a long way. I put some in the uh, spray bottle and it does a good job on the frame. When it comes to the drive chain, if you're using squirt wax lube, it's fine there too. If you're using a regular lube, as I've returned to doing, then use the cleaner undiluted as a pure degreaser. You do not need much to get the drive chain clean, although there are cheaper degreasers out there. For summer, dry, dusty roads, giving your bike a quick clean, it is spot on. And those drier conditions also seem to be best for the squirt wax lube too. The lube is wax in a water-based emulsion. Once you have stripped the chain of any lube, you can apply this stuff. It's meant to be cleaner and extend your chain life. When applying it, I find it's easy to waste quite a lot. It is thin and it drips, and I have gone through loads. This is the cold weather version, so it's perhaps thinner than the regular one, but it's only a few degrees above freezing right now, and I went through the regular one just as fast as this. In fact, it's probably too thin for the wet winter conditions we get. Many times I would get home from a long ride with nothing left on the chain, which is fantastic that it didn't pick up dirt. But before heading indoors, I had to immediately clean and put another load of this on my chain again. On the thankfully rare occasions I forgot, I'd get those flecks of rust on the chain. It didn't seem to give the lasting protection for the Scottish winter conditions that I wanted. Now, as a result, I was going through a bottle of squirt lube awfully quickly, and it isn't cheap. It's not just the Scottish winter that's been the issue. This is Alastair, my friend who lives in France, who I rode with in early 2020. Alastair meticulously records how long chains and tires last. Testing Squirt, he could put numbers to the experience. That chain did about 1,100 miles, which is about 700 or 800 miles less than I would have expected it to do. Uh, it was winter riding, but the chain was uh, meticulously looked after. It was dried when it was wet. But I seem to be using that every ride. Every single time I uh, went out on my bike, I had to read the chain. Alistair is now testing a motorbike chain wax. I thought I'd give it a try. So for 28 quid, I've got a very large tin of graphite immersed or graphite saturated wax, which you basically warm up, pop the chain in it. Once all the air bubbles have gone, it means that all of the air spaces inside the links of the chain have got lube in them. And then you lift the chain out and wipe it clean. We'll see how that goes as far as the life of the chain goes. I meanwhile have returned to using Juice Lube's Viking Juice. 
I might return to squirt wax lube in summer because I think it's more suited to dry conditions. I now know there are a heck of a lot of people who swear by melting proper wax into their chain and one of these days I really am going to have to try it. But until then, have you found any lube that works really well for you? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you again next time. Bye.